So in the previous video, we wrote functions for displaying our average, our sum, and making our data visible. I'm going to duplicate my data visible we created in the last one. And I'm going to simply edit it. And I'm going to make it my data invisible. So the way I'm going to do this is I can just set all these to false. So when this function's ran, the data labels become invisible. And when the, uh, this is ran, the data becomes visible. So then the last procedure I need to write is my data display list. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to come to my variables, and I'm going to set my data display variable. There, my my list variable right there to an empty list. Then I'm going to come up to my control and I want to grab my uh, index block here. So I want to go from number here, but I'm going to change this from number and I want to put an index. And what this block is going to do is from one, starting at one, two, I'm going to make this the length of my list. It's going to proceed or index by one. So what I need to grab is a length of the list. And I happen to have that up here so I can duplicate that down. So I'm going to go from one to the length of my list for my entry days. And I'm going to proceed down that list by one. And what do I want to do? Well, I want to add items to my list. So I'm going to bring in that add items. And this is where I'm going to get that user input from. So I'm going to duplicate this block, and I want to get that input and put it in my global display list. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go to select items from my list. But the problem is I have three different spinners or three different input uh, options. So I'm going to come up to my join here. I'm going to grab, I think I'm going to need six. I might need seven uh, lists or strings in my list. So I'm going to bring in more. I can take out more later if I need to. And what the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my global uh, entries. I'm going to get that list. And I'm going to add items to it. And I'm going to duplicate here. And what I want is from my index, because I'm indexing them here from one to the length of the list. And I'm progressing by one. Now I'm going to come and grab an empty text box and throw in a few spaces. The reason being is I want to space out my data. I can duplicate this now. And the other list is I want my entry activities. And again, I'm going to proceed by that index. I'm going to duplicate this text box here. And I'm going to duplicate again for my third amount, which is entry activity minutes. Again, I'm going to get that index to pick or choose from that list. And I'm going to duplicate down. And my last one is going to be to display the word minutes because that's what I'm looking at in this. Uh, I can remove the last item from my string because it's not needed. So the next thing I need to do is I need to set that label. So I'm just going to duplicate up here, even though this isn't the same label. And what I want to go to here is, well, I couldn't use this one from here, so I'm going to have to delete it. Because I want it from the list view. I have to specifically choose from the list view. And what I want to display is the list view's elements, meaning all the things I've added to that. And where do I want to display it? Well, I want to display whatever we put in the list by combining all these things uh, here from the different spinners and inputs. I want to now display all of this together. So all this information here, how I have it here, I'm going to display in my list view. So that is the last of my functions. The next thing that we're going to do is how to uh, use the buttons and the spinners to get the user input to store uh, and to calculate in these functions.